The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, how are you today? I am Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Today we are going to talk about dry mouth. Yes, saliva or spit is basically made by your salivary glands present inside your mouth and they are important to keep your mouth healthy. They basically break down the food products. They wash away food particles from your teeth and gum as well as help you in swallowing. And saliva also contains some minerals like calcium and phosphate which are helpful to keep your teeth strong and even fight to decay. And dry mouth happens when you do not have enough amount of this very saliva to keep the mouth wet. Right. So dry mouth is also called xerostomia, xerostomia in medical language. And this can actually happen to literally anyone and actually happens to everyone occasionally right for example when you are nervous when you are stressed you can face this dry mouth however if you have persistent dry mouth it can make chewing swallowing and even talking difficult right so dry mouth also can increase the chances and risk of tooth problems fungal infections in the mouth and it can because saliva can even help keep the germs in the mouth under check right so dry mouth is not normal and it is not a normal part of aging so if you think you have dry mouth because of aging you are wrong so you don't forget to see your dentist or your doctor to find out why you have dry mouth let's see what are the most common reasons for dry mouth number one is medicines yes side effects of some of the medicines like they can uh, blood pressure medicines depression medicines bladder control medicines these can cause dry mouth then some diseases like uh, diabetes uh, that is some HIV AIDS or Sjogren syndrome uh, these can lead to dry mouth exposure to radiations like during cancer treatment can lead to dry mouth chemotherapy can lead to dry mouth and even some nerve damage or uh, you know injuries to the neck or uh, head can lead to damage to these nerves which basically supply uh, to salivary glands and therefore uh, you don't have enough saliva production so all these things can lead to dry mouth and even some vitamin deficiency can lead to dry mouth then if you do have dry mouth what will happen you know there will be a sticky dry feeling in the mouth there will be trouble chewing swallowing and even you will not feel that much amount of taste or even you will have trouble speaking right you can have burning feeling inside the mouth you can have cracked lips then you can have sores or ulcers in the mouth in the tongue infections can happen bad breath can happen right so a doctor will basically assess your medical history and then uh, suggest you some blood tests up accordingly to diagnose medical conditions and treatment obviously depends upon what is causing your problem right if medicines is the cause of your dry mouth then the doctor may change or uh, the medicine or adjust the dosage so that you can have uh, less of this problem even you can get a prescription of saliva substitute to actually counterbalance if those medicines are needed same thing there are also some self-care steps which you can take for dry mouth like the most important number one is drinking plenty of water so if you drink a lot of water then most of the times dry mouth goes away uh, permanently right if you have a habit of that second thing you can do is chewing sugarless gum avoiding tobacco and alcohol so this is good good oral care hygiene at home is also very very important and even regular dental visit visits are important to uh, take care of this to prevent it so some more things which you can do is number one if you already have dry mouth then number one start sipping water or sugarless drinks right because you don't want to take a lot of sugars and get uh, you know fat so sipping a lot of water sugarless drinks and then 
during meals also you should sip water instead of drinking it sip it slowly and this will also improve the taste of your food as well as help you in swallowing then avoid drinking a lot of caffeine coffee tea or soda because caffeine can also make your mouth dry obviously that also adds up into the reasons then chewing <coughs> sugarless gum can actually stimulate your uh, saliva production right citrus cinnamon or mint flavored candies are also good choice right and you need to avoid salty food spicy food which can cause pain or in a dry mouth if you are putting them inside uh, obviously you need to avoid tobacco and alcohol they can dry your mouth and you need to use a humidifier at night in your room because uh, if you actually sleep with a open mouth it can lead to dryness so all these things are steps which you can take to prevent and treat dry mouth obviously diagnosis uh, the main so main core problem is very important whether it's a disease it's a medicine or a nerve damage or vitamin deficiency right so that's like b12 vitamin b12 deficiency can lead to dry mouth and even vitamin c deficiency can lead to gum problems so that's why you need to find out what is lacking in your diet and fulfill that so this is all about dry mouth i hope this video was helpful don't forget to share subscribe and hit the like button and i'll see you next time same time same place i'm dr paramjit you're watching dr education stay connected stay healthy